We've been doing a lot of work here at Salem Artworks these past few months. Hello, I'm Zach Ward. This is my new studio to be. Used to be a recycle bin at Salem Artworks and the foundry director. And the side we're in now will be just a dirt floor, welder and whatnot. And then the other side here is just storage drawing studio space. The doors will connect to the fourth floor, so have access to the outside where the foundry usually takes place. On the other side of this wall is the welding bay. It's the heart of Salem Artworks. There will be a walkthrough to there as well. The beam is 47 feet long uh, to take, to raise this roof an extra three feet so we can have big uh, roll up doors, not interfere with our gantry or any other heavy thing. So you have a rolling gantry in here with multiple welders and multiple stations and tables with giant uh, doors that roll up here and maybe flip up to create more shade over here. So the whole roof line is coming up four feet. Right. I got an extra, extra lip here. I'm sure if people are here, used to fall off the steep bank. Now it's not a steep bank. I think in the 50s or 30s they dug a pond for the animals that lived around here and uh, within time it grew over invasive species, willow trees, uh, box elders, poplar trees are all growing around it and it just uh, had no air in it so it created, you can see the green slime coming uh, over there and we're bringing back the life to the pond. Suki and dogs swimming and people swimming. There's lots of frogs and turtles and salamanders. And we saw one fish. Uh, maybe we'll have more fish. Level. So we're trying to make it a swimmable pond, better for ice skating, swimming, uh, boating, small boating, and uh, that's it. Old tent platforms with new roofs. The movie theater idea is these two containers stacked amongst one another over there in between barn three and barn two. So anybody can enjoy an art film from the hillside. And then we have a new access road to our art houses, uh, back access and front access. So we can drive the crane behind the barns instead of just the front. This is our new sidewalk to the glass shop across the beaver kill. We have this other little walking path, bike path, uh, just to avoid uh, traffic when we have large events. The garden is uh, being built by uh, Tyler and Zena, and it's a Google culture design where you create a forest floor on top of an existing soil. So they started with sticks, wood chips, compost, topsoil, and then they planted. So this backyard used to be mostly Japanese knotweed, and very low and hard to mow. And we dug a giant hole, buried the knotweed, put the more soil on top that was dredged from the pond, and seeded it. So now we have more sculpture displaying park area. So during the 
pandemic, this downtime, we've been able to uh, save a lot of money on food. So we're spending it all on the property and upkeep and management of the park and facilities. Can't wait for you to come visit.